guys, Salty Pickles here, and today I will be doing a review, kind of just an overview and review of my 3D printer, the Monoprice Select Mini V2. Now this printer, I was just, I was just, I don't know where I got the idea, but I just like started obsessing about 3D printers and really wanted one. So I went online, checked out some 3D printers, a few of them were like 600 to $300, a couple of them were $3,000, but I was able to find one that had a price of $220. It had a print bed of 4.7 inches by 4.7 inches by 4.7 inches, and, um, and I just, I had enough money, and so I bought it, and now me and my dad use it, and it is a great little printer, and here we go, I'll show you guys. All right. So this is the printer itself. It did not come with this filament. It came with a tiny roll of filament, like super tiny, just like probably enough to make maybe that rocket ship. And so I've made a bunch of stuff with the printer. And let me just turn it on real quick. There is an on switch on the back right there. Just turn it on. And so what you have is a menu that you can choose from your SD card to print stuff. You have temperature, and then you have move. What you do, you go to print using this little dial that you can scroll using. Print. You select the print that you want. And then you can just start it. And then you select the temperature and it starts heating itself up. And then it starts to print on this. The nozzle just spits it out. It's been doing really good. And um, it's got feeding mechanism right here. It feeds it in automatically. When you get the printer, what you need to do is level the bed. Then open up this by using this spring. Just open that up, and then um, and then you thread the filament through until it hits the bottom, and then you can heat it up and extrude it out. And um, I've made a bunch of little 3D prints using this, and here are a print we have. My first print that I have ever done is this little Chinese New Year, like, good luck cat. And um, it was the only one that came in the file like on the SD card when we got it, it said select cat.g code. It's hollow. Right here, um, I had one of my um, friends who speaks Chinese a bit translate this. This says like luck and this says gold. And it, it has a really nice finish on it. I was printing this at a tenth of a millimeter in quality. It's got a few little bumps here and there, but it's just really good quality and then my next print was this stormtrooper the stormtrooper is probably one of my favorites his head can be taken off and he is low poly so um, he doesn't have any curves on him and um, this took around three hours to print and it's pretty good size I really, I really, really like this one. Then, I forget what I printed next, but I printed this little catapult, which is probably one of the most fun. So you just take a piece of pa paper, roll it up into a ball or like whatever. Then you push this down. And then you push down this lever. And it fires. This little piece broke off though like right right there it broke off so it doesn't work as well anymore and then next I printed this little rocket ship and it's, it's okay I mean the it had supports right here and I was trying to get it off and I snapped the rocket ship itself off like the little cloud so we had to super glue it back on the next print was probably a, th a thermal detonator it comes in two halves, and I haven't been able to put it together. 
And then next I printed, we got some new material. And I printed this tri spinner body, which warped, which means it came off the platform. That's why it's slanted, unlike this one. Kind of sucks. Next, I 3D printed this thing called a hidden shelf. It warped too. You see, it's slanted, but it works perfectly well. What you do is you drill it into your wall. Then you can take this case off and keep like money in here. I just scale this down to like 95% to have it fit on my print platform, but that's all right. Then the next one that I printed was a tri spinner. And I printed this tri spinner, just the body. And then I printed the caps. And then I printed all the outside caps, but I didn't print the bearings inside. It's a pretty good tri spinner. Um, and then what I'm working on right now is this little turtle. I printed his head separate. There's a clip that's going to attach his shell to the head and the body. And it's called the squishy turtle. Then you j can just go like that and his legs kind of work like springs. Next we have my fan cover. And, and this is just to go on this little fan right here. This fan is used for cooling the extruder so that it doesn't overheat. And then next we have this hairy lion. This is, this is one of the cooler prints that I've made. Um, what the hairy lion was is it came in this cylinder all around the lion. And it had hairs going out into the cylinder all around it. There were a bunch of little hairs. I cut away the cylinders with some scissors, and then I cut the hairs off of the cylinder, and his hairs were sticking out like that, just like all around his head, except for on his face. And um, and then what I did is I took um, a blow dryer, and I turned it to the max heat level, and I blew dry his, <laughs> blew dry, I blow dried his hair back and so it melted almost immediately and it melts back into place and you can shape it. This printer uses the standard software and all you need to do is download the slicing software. It's recommended that you use Cura and it's what I use. You can um, you can get your own prints off thingiverse.com or any site selector that you want or you can make it on different websites like tinkercad.com that's what I've been using but I haven't gotten a lot of experience with designing my stuff like this is my 3d printer and I don't know a lot about other 3d printers but I've really 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 enjoyed this this printer was only two hundred and twenty dollars making it affordable and good I mean I think it's good I mean it can print almost the um it did not come with the materials though and me and my dad we got this gray PLA filament and then this black PLA filament and then this white ABS filament there are small differences between PLA and ABS it is recommended that you use PLA first because it's a bit easier to use but then once you get a bit more you get a bit more like experience then you can switch to ABS and me and my dad had gotten a bit of experience so we switched to ABS for a while and we've been printing white ABS since the temperatures it can go up pretty high for temperatures and it just it's just been printing very very well and I've really been satisfied with the results great print printer I suggest you get it at www.monoprice.com it is again it is the monoprice select mini v2 hey guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe maybe turn on the post notifications and comment below if you enjoyed this video or you have a 3d printer also comment below if this helped you in your research for the 3d pr for getting a 3D printer. Again, thank you guys for watching. Salty Pickles out.